Uh, my name is Miss Success. Okay, what happened? Can you tell us exactly what happened? On the twenty fourth of March, um, April, right? I got a call from my husband saying he got a call from the school that my son was choking. That would you come? They rushed him to the hospital. I was already on. Sun City traffic light when he called because I was going to meet a client. I sell resources. I was going to meet a client at Lube. So I just said, let me just change my route. So I called the school. We're having this whole network issue back and front. They eventually picked. I asked them, please, I'm on my way to the school. And I said, don't come to the school. Come to the hospital. I said, what hospital? They told me it's a cell, a cell specialist and fertility in hospital that is close to the school. So I went to the hospital. Getting there, I saw the some of the teachers were crying. The whole place was crowded. It's an hospital, so I didn't suspect anything. I went in. I saw Mr. Alice, that was the head teacher for primary. I saw him and I asked him, Mr. Alice, where is my child? I was expecting them to take me to maybe somewhere I would see him on drip or maybe on something, on a light support or something. So he deprived me of seeing the child. He asked me, that where is my husband? That I should come with my husband. That the doctor said I should come with my husband. I got upset and I was like, when I came to drop off my kids this morning, you didn't request for my husband. Why are you not requesting for my husband all of a sudden? And me, I'm not finding what you're saying for me. The process of arguing, the doctor came and was like, allow her to see a child. When I go to the emergency room, I met Miss Glory, the head teacher for early age. She was crying, they were holding her down. I asked her, why are you crying? Are you okay? She was still crying. I turned. I saw somebody was covered with a blanket, with a bed sheet. I was like, what? I opened it, it was my son, it was dark. His tongues had bruises, his tongues were green, it has injury and all that, he was black, his eyes were swollen, there were tears running down his side, so you can see, see the mark of the tears. So I caught, I was so confused. I called my husband and I told my husband, you know I'm lying down close to the corpse of my son, my husband said I'm mad. <laughs> so we, he was laughing and I was laughing as well. I slept close to my child. In the process of sleeping there, the teachers left the emergency room. I was still there with some nurses. So the nurse now made a comment and say, Madam, don't cry. These people, they are very selfish people. They have used selfish attitude to kill the child. That's how this school will be collecting big money, but they can't take care of people's kids. I said, come, my dear. So she ran. But she, I, obviously, maybe she didn't want problem or something. She ran. I went back to the teacher and I said, hold on. See the comments I just got. What actually happened to my child? You said the child died here. And this is what a nurse is saying. I went back to the doctor and the doctor said he should call my husband. So I called my husband. He said he's already on his way. He left her by. He's already on his way to Delta. I said no problem. So I didn't want to call him again because he was on his way. He didn't use flights. There's no flights from Delta. I back to Delta. I told the nurse, the doctor, the doctor now called me and Miss Glory, which is the early years head teacher, where my, the department where my son is. I have two kids in the school, one in primary and one in early age. So the doctor called us and to his office, myself and the, there's a liquid milk, you know, myself and the teacher, we went to his office. So the man asked, what happened, madam? He said she was in the class. When Miguel was eating, she left the class. Not quite, uh, uh, it's not even up to four to five, min uh, two minutes. She had the teacher screaming that Miguel, 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 and all of a sudden and all that. They called, they tried him okay. in recovering him, in recovering him that they did all they could. He died in the hospital. So the, the man has said, no, I've told your former colleague that stop saying this. Instantly, the man got upset and wrote on the dead, on the death certificate of my son that he died on arrival and he died 11 o'clock. 
and they called us 11:28. And the man has said that it was even me that forced you people to call the parents. Why? The school has they come to meet you? Have they said anything? They just they came today because I went there to protest. Mm. So they came and the police there they told me that I shouldn't worry that before the end of today that the lady was going to come. And to my greatest surprise, she came. After how many weeks? After next tomorrow we'll make it three weeks. Next tomorrow we'll make it three weeks. Yes. So today. yes, I got one test message from her from maybe only twenty six or twenty something or so or thereof. Last month, okay, on the 29th of last month by 9.58. And this day I was with the CP. I left the CP's office and she called me. What did the CP say on about this whole thing? The CP said he's going to make sure he looks at this case and he's, he will try everything possible to be transparent about the case. Yeah, the first day he was involved on the case, he, he followed me to the school to check for the cameras and everything. Then they said the cameraman was coming from Lugbe or where was he coming from? So he was coming from far place. So the CP didn't want to wait because initially when we went to his office before going to the school, he had a lot of people to attend to. So he said he cannot wait and that I understand why. Mm. And I appreciate him for for even trying to come out. But there again, the parents the because I'm I I the parents came to meet me. That's where I overheard a parent saying they've released Mr Mr. Alice and I got Who's upset. Mr. Alice? Mr. Alice is the head teacher for primary. I got upset and I was like, You po promise that you po will be transparent in this case. So why would you release Mr. Alice without my notice, without the notice of my lawyer, without the notice of anybody? I got upset. My lawyer advised me I should calm down and wait for the autopsy. And I was like, I can't wait. He's not saying the autopsy is also. No, they did it on Saturday. That I should wait and calm. I said, Ma, I cannot wait. I went there today to do a peaceful protests getting there the teachers were saying some of the teachers said um i should go the case is the, especially the mr alice that I, why did i come here to constitute nuisance that the case is already with the police now why am i not here i'm traumatizing the children that are there i said my child is dead in this school do you know that same day I went to Galadimawa to report this case. I met the school there at Galadimawa. Hmm. I met two staff of the school. They were there, they were taking statements. From them? From them. Do you know the Galadimawa police, they didn't take statement from me. Why? <laughs> they just said, let's go, let's go, don't worry, don't worry. We've already gotten your name. And don't worry, go, let's go and do the investigation. So I said there was something fishy. You think there's something fishy? In yeah, I thought thing? there was something fishy because you people were there in the police station. One, you lied to the, the first doctor that you should tell me my child died mm. at the hospital, whereas that is a lie. For me, getting to reach the police station, you people are already there requesting for letter of... I don't know, I'm forgetting this letter name. And the police refused to give it to them. And they told the police that the child was missing and i told the police that that's a false narrative that the child is dead the police said thank god that they didn't give them it is so we went there on reaching the school as at 4 a.m that uh, 4 p.m that evening we noticed that the class we noticed we noticed that the class have been swept have been swept mobbed as at 4 p.m. where my child died mm. and no camera was presented to us. And the school has camera? Yes, every class and every place in that school Except has camera. Class. It, it does. The camera was not recording that day. Okay, fine. The camera is not recording. Give us a record of this camera from in the morning that the child arrived. 
okay, they said they were doing something in their in their uh, what they call in their tech room that the students were having tech class that did that constructed with the network of the school that made that particular camera to disrupt. We now noticed that seven other classes that was on the same lane with Miguel's classes were not destroyed. They all were working fine. But the one at Miguel's class is the only one. Is the only one that was not working. And the school <laughs> has refused to talk to us now. They said they are mourning. How can you be mourning? And me as a mother, I'm asking me, I still have time to come and do problem. To come and uh, uh, make a peaceful protest that I need my child. And you that didn't have any connection with the child is mourning. Then me, the mother, I'm not mourning. What kind of mourning are you mourning? Why would Senator Joy not tell the people that? Please. Why would she not? She's a former senator. She came to your house. She came to your house. Yes. So what did she say to you? That she's sorry. That I should know that she's not, she's on the side of justice. You are on the side of justice and it's not what your workers are saying. What you are saying is different. What your workers are saying is different. Who does that? Can you describe your son to me? My son is a very lively and very cheerful son. A very playful child. A child that cannot, my son cannot be in anywhere and would not be noticed. He will be noticed. You will notice my child either by his access or by his intelligence. What do you want now? I want justice. I want explanation, a clear one at that. I want Nigeria to give me justice. I want justice. I want to have I want to be able to tell my daughter that this is what killed your your brother. Has he been buried? He hasn't been buried. I was supposed to make the funeral today, and that's why I went there and tell them, okay, you are not telling me to go and bury my child with no explanation from you guys. Ah. It doesn't work that way. We hope you get justice. Now. I will. And I'm appealing to Nigerians to help me seek for justice. I'm appealing to everyone. I wrote to Commissioner of, uh, of Education on this. I wrote to everybody on this. I want justice. That's all I'm asking for. Thank you. Your name You're welcome. Is My name is Mrs. Success, Honorable Devoki. Thank you. You're welcome.